Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Journal Output. I am Zainab Altaf, and again coming back with another video. Watch this video up to the very end. In this video, I am going to clear all the doubts and confusions. In my previous video, I shared that I bypassed in our phone, and people kept asking me that it is fake, it isn't working on their iPhones. And some people asked me that, will it work on iPhone 7? Guys, it is going to work on every iPhone which is supported by the chakran. So guys, I'm uh, back with the video. I'm going to run the same, uh, same bypass to show you. And there was an error coming, so I'm going to fix that error in this video to show you this working. So I've connected my iPhone 7 with my uh, Chakran, which is 0.12.1, and my iOS version is 14.2. And I'm going to start the Chakran. It is in the recovery mood, as always. And now, we're, when it completes, now we're going to click on Start. It will instruct us to put our phone into the DFU mode. And as we always do... So let it start, let it complete. So you can see guys, it is all done. We're done with uh, running our check rain. So I'll disconnect it and show you that it is an activation lock. So you can see it is an activation lock. I've made this video just just to show you to clear all doubts and confusions. Now we are in Windows to run the bypass, but before that we will disable the antivirus. So let's first disable the antivirus from here. So now the antivirus has been disabled. So now here you can see this is the tool that I'm going to use for the bypass and the link is in down description box. The link is also in my previous video and the link for the previous video is also in the description box. We have extracted the file and here's the file and we're going to open the bypass. So this video is just to clear your doubts and confusion that you were guys asking in my previous video. So this video is just for that. So we'll open it. So click on OK. And here you can see the error which is coming and people kept asking me in my previous video. This error is coming during the uh, bypass and what to do with this error. So guys, here we're going to fix the error. We have to click on quit. And here's the file for the DLL which is in the down description box. What you have to do is just to copy this, this uh, directory which is given in the file, in the iTunes file. And you have to copy it. And then you have to paste it into the C drive right here. And then you have to just go there and you have to copy this DLL and you have to paste it with the directory right here. Okay. So after doing this all, when you will come back to here, when you start again opening the, your tool, when you open it, it is now not giving any kind of error. It is successfully opened, as I told you. So now we will go through with our iPhone 7. We're going to connect it, and we're going to run the bypass. So I'm going to click on the start, progressing with the full MEID. You know that full GSM is in, coming soon, so when I will be there, so I'll make a video. I'm going to open the three tools to show you that it is um, perfectly connected. Absolutely. So then I'll close the three tools right here. OK. So I'll just close these three tools. And now here you can see this is the bypass which we are going to work. We have to click on full MEID. So it is in the progressing. So let this complete. So as in my previous video, I told you that when it will reach at this point, so it is going to open some kind of vape. You just have to minimize it. You don't have to follow it. Your iPhone is activated, and you have to put this into activating fire just to complete the set of the conditions in your iPhone. So we'll do it. Let's continue. And it is completely unlocked, as I told you. So people were continuously saying on my previous video that this is not working, this is fake or something like that. So guys, you can see this is 
100% working and this is unlocked. Simply the server is not closed and it is, you can see it is unlocked. So here um, I will insert the SIM as we done in the previous video, the pin locked SIM. We will insert it and because it will help you to properly unthread your iPhone. So we will put the SIM in. Let's insert it. Okay, so it's going to show you the SIM is a log or something like that. Just cancel it. You don't have to insert or put anything. I'm going to power it off to show you that reboot is also working. The on off is 100% working, and I'll open it once again. As I told you, this video is just to clear your doubts. The people were having a lot of confusions um, by, while having these, um, this bypass. So you can see the on off is also working. You just have to cancel, just ignore it. Once again, ignore it. So we'll go through um, the iCloud account. I'm going to show you the iCloud account is 100% working. And I will sign in with my account to show you that it is 100% working once again. So let's put my Apple ID in. OK. So you can see it is 100% working. I'm saying it again and again because people were saying it is fake, but it is not. I always say you, I put the content to help you. So it is successfully, my ID is signed in and the iCloud account is working. You can see. So now I'm gonna show you something else that my app store is also working and along with the, my notification is working. So I'm going to tell what I'm going to do is I'm going to download an application as we did in our previous video. So I'm going to download Messenger and it, it, it will show you that it is successfully, it is downloaded and then we will also go through the notification. That notification is also working. So let's download the Messenger first. So now you can see Messenger is all downloaded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in with my account in the Messenger right here. And, and here you can see I'm signing in with my Messenger account. And now what I'm going to do is uh, using this another phone to send uh, the message and to see the notification is working. So let's send the message. Here you can see the notification is right there. And even if you take out your application from your background, it is again working. So I've taken out from the background and again you will see another notification coming. Here we go. You can see the notification is working. The App Store is working. The iCloud account is working. Means this method is 100% working method. So I'm again going to power it off to show you that this reboot is also working. So this video, guys, was just to clear your old doubts and confusions that you guys were having. And you guys were asking me in my previous video. I was just make this video to make you clear. And I hope that you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching the video.